San Diego, the incarnation of Leo, and probably the most annoying extreme challenge mode boss at this point. For her first skill, it basically decreases loading times of different armaments every 18 seconds. It's a little annoying, but not too big of a deal. For her second skill, two seconds after her first skill activates, a stage spawns on the battlefield, it lasts for five seconds, and your ships on the stage get 20 speed and 20% more evasion. The biggest thing to note about San Diego is she is a light cruiser, meaning she is light armor, which means high explosives and similar anti-light armor weaponry. This fleet was built especially to deal with light enemies. And it does that very well. Frederick der Gras seems like an odd choice here, but Bismarck's Y buffs other Iron Blood ships, so she's a great choice. And the main gun I gave her synergizes extremely well with her skills. A super heavy shell, so she fires last, and a bow gun for extra light armor damage. Bismarck's Y, or Zwei, however you pronounce it, has the same main gun as Frederick der Gras. And it synergizes amazingly with her skill set as well, allowing her to fire her barrage very quickly. And this is my standard loadout for Ulrich. And I introduced you the cursed high explosive Kronstadt build. This uses Azuma's main gun with the Northern Parliament secondary to get that sweet 100% efficiency, gold burn for health and reload, and VH armor plating for some more tankiness, which she drastically needs for this fight. For a majority of situations, I honestly don't really like the guided missile destroyers. However, they are pretty much perfect for this fight, considering San Diego is a light target and they excel against, well, light targets. I mean, I do have to admit though, I like missiles. Missiles are cool. The ultra rare destroyer gun, of course, they are slightly main gun destroyers. Seal of the Four Gods to give them another main gun buff. And repair toolkit for some health regen. And of course, both sisters do have the exact same loadout. Another reason I like this particular fleet loadout so much is because Anshan buffs your other Anshan class ships, and Changchun buffs Northern Parliament and Dragon Emperor ships. That's why there are two different synergies going on in this fleet. As per usual, and disappointingly, subs are absolutely useless in this battle. The only submarine that actually matters is Royal Fortune, because she does decent damage against light enemies more than other subs. Besides that, go whatever subs you like. Alright, I'll be completely honest for the battle, I don't know. I know these are supposed to be endurance battles, but man, this one took me 7 minutes. So obviously I'm gonna take most of it out. Like, honestly, I set it to auto search. Save your hands, people. Set it to auto search. I did try two times manually, but man, I think I'm gonna get arthritis. But anyways, yeah, you pretty much just auto search, sit back, and let your fleet do all the work. Every 18 seconds, San Diego teleports to the middle and knocks back all of your ships. That can be in any direction and it's kind of disorienting. That's why I prefer auto search, so that you don't have to do any of the aiming yourself. And honestly, I deal less damage when I manually aim either way. Since the stage pretty much takes up the entire map, your ships will, well, most of the time, get that 20 speed and 20% more evasion. Honestly though, not much matters. Kronstadt with my build for her is very tanky and she has her regeneration skill. The repair toolkits for the destroyers will keep them healthy throughout the battle. And for being a level 125 boss, I know all of my ships are at the same level, but we're not taking as much damage as I expected. But I mean, it kind of makes sense if this takes 7 minutes. And this run is my shortest run, by the way. The real question is, why is she so tanky? Is she secretly heavy armor and I'm doing something horribly wrong? Well, I don't think so. I tested this out with a lot of other ships, Musashi, New Jersey, and they did practically no damage. That's the reason I'm using this Ironblood main fleet. Ulrich does amazing damage against light. Bismarck's Way with the Iron Blood main gun I gave her does amazing high explosive damage, and her barrage is high explosive. Frederick der Gross does amazing high explosive damage as well. But you guys might have noticed something. When San Diego teleports into the middle, she gets into range of Frederick der Gross's defensive barrage. When an enemy gets too close to Frederick der Gross, she releases a very, very powerful defensive barrage. Ulrich also does the same thing. I don't remember the exact timers, but they're pretty similar but they're still devastating barrages, so that's why I chose these two. 
because they'll both activate their barrages and deal even more damage to San Diego when she gets too close. But yeah, so 4 minutes of the exact same thing later and we finally beat San Diego. So honestly, if you guys do know of a better way to beat her, then please tell me in the comments. I didn't do any research for this fight, I just went with the best fleet loadout I could find, and that was my strategy. This ended up being my best run, with clear time of only 7 minutes and 8 seconds. I really hope there's a better way to do this, cause man, earlier when I was trying to get this footage, I don't know if it was the servers or my internet, but my game kept disconnecting in the middle of the challenge, so I had to record this quite a few times. But yeah, 7 minutes and 8 seconds, and that's how I beat San Diego. It's rare to see pretty balanced damage charts like this. But yeah, I forgot to show subs, but let's just say they did no damage. The reason I don't use aircraft carriers in this battle is because even with a bunch of HVAR aircraft, Yorktown II didn't do that much damage. However, if you do have a tough time with this battle, I definitely recommend a healer. Healers are the best for endurance battles, pretty obviously, and the best healer in the game is Unicorn because of her very well balanced Uni's aid and reload command. Vanguard also works, but no matter what gun you give her, she still does no damage. There's also high explosive A gear. She does more damage, but is way less tanky. Azuma is also a great tank. Normally, I would be using Plymouth for a run like this, but she just isn't tanky enough in auto search. She does do a great amount of damage, but she usually does sink before the end of the battle, which means her potential is not being maximized. And honestly, I've never used Electron Fiant, but I think she might be really good for single boss battles like this. It's just a big shame that the only reward for beating this boss is some boring decorations. I wish we could get real rewards that are actually good from these monthly bosses. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a like, maybe even subscribing. This is going to be Enzo from Look Into Gaming, signing out.